So he took me to Madison Square Garden and there I saw for the first time Bruno Sammartino wrestling. And when he came out, I realized that this is the star of all stars. He was the best, he was the most popular, he was huge. When he came into the ring, people were standing and screaming and screaming and screaming. And then the fight began and I mean, he started throwing this guy around. He lifted people up that were 400 pounds overhead. So this is how powerful he was. But he was just also a showman. He knew exactly how to kind of create the excitement uh, in, the, in the crowd. And uh, he, for years and years and years, sold out Madison Square Garden and other places that were just packed and packed. So he was, without any doubt, the most popular wrestler and the best of the best, literally, I think, in the history of professional wrestling. And so I just followed him because he was such a great athlete. I always said to, to Bruno, I said, it's so important that we immigrants, we have to kind of make twice as much effort than an American because we have been brought into this country with open arms. We have been received with open arms. And I think that uh, we have such love for this country that we are not just like another American, but we have to kind of like really pay back the debt of what has been offered to us. He's such a great immigrant. I mean, what a great immigrant story. <laughs> to come over here from Italy, I mean, when he was a kid, he had, they had to run away from the Nazis. And he almost died several times, and his mother brought him back. And then he moved over here to Pittsburgh. And there he was, there he was bullied around. And then he started wrestling, and he started getting bigger and better. And then all of a sudden, all the bullies disappeared. And he was so appreciative that what kind of a career he had as an immigrant coming over here to America. I appreciated so much as an Austrian to come over here. I did not go through all the stuff that he went through and the hardship and everything like that. But, I mean, it is a huge, I think one of the greatest immigration stories that anyone can think of when you talk about Bruno Sammartino. I remember my mom one day said to me, you know, if we knew what was going to happen, she said, maybe, maybe dad could have brought us to America before the, uh, the war started and, and we wouldn't have had to go through such horrible time. I thought about that a lot and I told my mother one day, I said, I have no regrets about that because having gone through that, it made our life appreciate so much everything that's come our way. You can hear this capacity crowd chanting Bruno, Bruno, Bruno.